All right, thanks, Tony. Now at 5.30, Rhode Island House Speaker Gordon Fox is paying the price for violating state ethics laws. The State Ethics Commission agreed to a settlement today after Fox admitted he failed to report more than $40,000 of income from legal work he did for a Providence Economic Development Agency. Highway to Sue's reporter Todd Wallace spoke with Fox not long ago. He joins us now live outside the State House with the new details. And Mike and Shannon, House Speaker Gordon Fox says this really comes down to the interpretation of the law and that he has no problem with the decision by the Ethics Commission. House Speaker Gordon Fox says he has nothing to hide. My mistake, I'll chalk it up to that, and if, it, if these things never look good, it's the reality of the business we're in. When you're working in a part-time legislature, you also have private income. Fox agreed to pay a $1,500 fine, $500 for each year. He failed to disclose income he earned from legal work he performed for the Providence Economic Development Partnership in 2007, 2008, and 2009, the years he worked indirectly for the P. EDP. I had filed the report in 2010, 2011, and 2012 when I was working directly with PDP. So because I was working with a subcontractor, my reading interpretation of it was it wasn't through a municipality. And that was a unanimous vote. The Rhode Island Ethics Commission voted to approve a settlement with Fox after meeting with him today. Ethics Commission Attorney Jason Gremmett says it boils down to a misunderstanding. He was working as a subcontractor for a private law firm. So he considered income from a private law firm, not from a public agency. And this isn't the first time that Fox has had to pay a fine to the Ethics Commission. Back in 2004, he had to pay a $10,000 fine for voting on legislation related to lottery giant GTEC, which employed Fox's law firm. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.